I'm gonna go through the whole process of how I plan, script, and shoot my YouTube videos. And I'm gonna talk about why you should care as a bookkeeper. My goal is to help you guys get organized. My name is Morgan, I'm a bookkeeper from finepoints.biz. And definitely subscribe to my channel down below, hit the red button if you want a bookkeeping video every single week. So this was actually a requested video about how I shoot my YouTube videos. And at first I was like, I don't know if it would really apply to you guys as bookkeepers, as my audience. But then I realized I actually started making these videos as a tool for my bookkeeping business for two reasons. One, to answer frequently asked questions and two, to try to get more bookkeeping clients. So you can definitely use a video as a part of your marketing strategy. So maybe um, your client goes to your website and they are able to see a video of you with frequently asked questions or a video of you explaining what to expect at your first meeting as a bookkeeper, a first client meeting. And um, video, one thing that's really big about it is it builds trust. So they are able to see you and they're able to hear you and kind of get a feel for your personality. So much more than either just photography or um, over the phone or even Zoom, like video, you can really control it and people can get to know you really well. Maybe there are things that you are training your clients to do over and over, like how to log into QuickBooks, how to set up their account in QuickBooks Online, certain documents that you need from them or processes. So that can save you time. Another video that might be valuable for you to make is why do you need a bookkeeper? So just explaining to people like what a bookkeeper does in your own words and you know why they need to hire you. And if you wanna even take it a step further, you could post your videos on YouTube and possibly start getting traction there then maybe a potential client would see your video and call you up and want to hire you and it does take a little bit more time and effort to kind of um, research keywords that would be good and figure out the YouTube algorithm and that kind of thing and how to get traction there but it's definitely a very viable marketing strategy that a lot of people have used if you want to go that route and it might be even easier for you to get keywords for a really small niche so say you're living in Montana and you're a bookkeeper for veterinarians so if you use those keywords and anytime someone searches for those keywords then the more specific they are the more likely it is for them to find your exact video and then there's other ways you can leverage this marketing strategy so Google sales funnels if you don't know what those are um, you can just start small and just do a really small sales funnel maybe have a free printable on your website that would be value added to your clients maybe like five ways to improve your bookkeeping as a small business owner or you know a sample chart of accounts or something that's valuable that they want and anytime they are able to get that information from you make those contacts with you start to trust you then that is going to build your credibility as a bookkeeper and get a little buzz going on your website and get people interested in you and then you can follow up with those connections let me know in the comments if you're interested in sales funnels and kind of that marketing style and i can do a video about that if you'd like so how i film my videos right now i'm using the tool asana to plan out all my videos so i'm going to um, put that on the screen right now and show you guys exactly what I do in Asana. All right, so here I am in Asana and you can see the first column is called content ideas. In that column, I just throw any ideas I have for any possible videos. So a lot of those come from you guys. Um, so from comments and making on my videos or questions that you ask if I get frequently asked questions or just if I'm, you know, Anytime I think of an idea, even if it's only half formed, I'll put it in the content ideas bucket. And then you can see along the top, I also have each month. So I have from January till September, cause right now it's July and I'm planning for September. So usually I try to do a month or maybe two months out if I'm doing well. So, and you can see it's really easy to move these things around. So for example, this paperless bookkeeper one, that one actually is not gonna launch in July anymore. So I can move it into August or I can, you know, put it wherever I want. And then maybe I wanna talk about the best year time of the year to start bookkeeping. So I'm like, oh, that, that would be a good one in September because September is a good time of the year to start bookkeeping. So I can just move these around as much as I want um, as plans change. So you guys can actually get a sneak peek, peek of kind of what's coming up. Well, I guess actually you'll be seeing this in September. So it's not a sneak peek, it's in the past, but you can see if I stuck to my schedule or not, which um, you know I usually do, but I'm also not afraid to like switch things up if I need to, or something doesn't get done, or there's technical difficulties with something, um, I'll just move it around and switch it up. So right now in July, I'm really working on August a lot. So I'm doing a series on bookkeeper basics. So you guys have probably already seen those. If you watch my bookkeeper basics series, will you give me a double thumbs up in the comments? And, um, and then I don't know how much detail you guys want, but I have little symbols that mean different things. So if, it, if I put the thumbs up in there, it means it's ready to be filmed. So right now I'm doing this. How do you create your videos? And I actually just um, copied and pasted the person's question in there. Um, so that's a thumbs up because it's ready to be filmed. And then once I film it, I 
have it have this little blue dot and then I can assign it to different people as well. So you'll see some initials in there. So little symbols that just help keep me organized. All right, so let's just look inside this one. Seven things to know before you start bookkeeping. So sometimes I put notes to my video editor. Her name's Kristen, so I'll put little notes for her about what I want her to include. I map out my videos in bullet points. So that is the best way for me to feel like I'm talking naturally to you guys and not you know, reading off a script, but I do have it you know, fairly well planned out. I have everything, all the notes, all the points that I wanna talk about planned out ahead of time. So these are the seven things to know to start before you start bookkeeping, which I'll leave that little video link down below if you guys haven't seen that and wanna check it out. But you know, I just put the seven things down. I just put a note that reminds me of what I wanna say, but I don't write it all out. All right, so after I plan and kind of script my videos, then I film them and I do all my filming on my smartphone. So I don't know if that surprises you, if you can tell my video quality isn't as good as some other people, but um, right now that's working for me. And I think especially with my type of videos because they're more informational, it's not like, you know, I'm not a photographer or videographer that has these beautiful nature shots or anything. Um, so really you guys just want content and you just wanna know about being a bookkeeper. I mean, and as you guys are aware of, um, the, the cameras on our phones now are really high quality, much higher quality than they ever have been before. So that's working for me for right now. I might eventually invest in a nicer camera. And then one thing that has helped a lot is I have this mic. So it's just a lapel mic that's plugged into my phone and that helps um, make my audio clearer. You'll see if you go back to my first couple of videos that I'm, I'm speaking quietly and it's hard to hear me. So this I think helps out a lot with um, just that quality. Um, I'm always trying to improve, so if you guys know about audio or video and you wanna leave me some comments and suggestions down below, definitely do that, because that's not my area of expertise, but I've just kind of figured it out as I go along and um, you know, I feel like it's adequate, it's working for now. And for about the first year and a half of making videos, I edited my own videos. So I just used a free program that I found online. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that particular one, but maybe um, you can do some research of your own or I'll try to link one down below that has been recommended to me. But that I all kind of learned as I went as well. I'd done a little bit of just like personal video editing for fun before, but there was a learning curve and you can just kind of start simple, just cut out like your dead space or your ums or mistakes you make. You know, you can get a little bit more advanced if you wanna add words or whatever. So, but now I do have a video editor editing my videos, which is nice because I can just focus on the content and then she can do the bulk of that work. And some of my kind of YouTubing mentors that taught me about how to do YouTube are Sunny Leonarduzzi and Gillian Perkins. You guys might already have heard of them if you're interested in that type of thing. But if you want to, you know, actually begin doing YouTube, check them out and they can give you some more information. So if you guys have made it all the way to the end, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up, if you like this video, any engagement, comments, and um, subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Bye.